Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of Gibbon Travelogue. We are now in Otaru. The enchanting city of Otaro is known for its charming canals, historic streets, and delectable local cuisine. Just 45 minutes by train from Sapporo City, this vibrant city is home to the romantic Otaro Canal and many famous dessert shops. In the morning, we set out to Otaru from Sapporo. We take the train from Sapporo Station and the journey will take us just 45 minutes. We arrive in Otaru Station, the gateway into the city of Otaru. This station was opened in 1903. There you can see the Mukai Bell, which was rung each time a train arrived from the time the station was open until 1965. Here's a little history of Otaro City. It began in the Kecho era between 1596 to 1610, when people moved north to this city in search of herring. Later in the Meiji era, around the late 19th century, the Japanese government decided to make Sapporo the base for development of Hokkaido. The port of Otaru became a supply base for goods from the sea. As such, many of the historical buildings were warehouses and many banks also moved in to support the explosive development of the coal, herring and bean industries. The Otaru Tourist Information Centre is one such building. It was originally a warehouse built in 1893. Our first stop is the iconic Otaru Canal, which was a central part of the city's busy port in the first part of the 20th century. Large vessels carrying goods were unloaded into smaller vessels, which then transported them to the warehouses along the canal. The canal became obsolete when modern dock facilities allowed for direct unloading of larger vessels. This part of the canal was conserved and beautifully restored in the 1980s thanks to the residents here. Many of the warehouses were transformed into museums and restaurants. Located just across the Otaru Canal is the Otaru Kenoki Kochi, an alleyway full of food bars that were modelled around the image of colonial Hokkaido. A very prominent feature is the Hinomi Yagura, a tower with an observation deck where you can get a great view of the Otaru Canal free of charge. Within the Tenoki Kochi, there are over 20 shops offering a wide variety of Japanese-style cuisine made with carefully selected local ingredients. True to its seaport town origins, Otaru is famous for its fresh 
and tasty seafood such as tuna, salmon, scallops, abalone and crabs. We went into Kawasaki Suisan for their specialty seafood rice bowl where the friendly boss can serve up a delicious bowl of seafood for you in his quaint and cozy shop. And the shop owner here uh, highly recommend sea urchin bowl. It's number one here. Something which uh, you guys have to try. So I'm trying on your behalf. It's so smooth and creamy and no fishy taste. Fabulous! Right in front of the shop is a statue of Udatsu Kozo, a symbol of Tenoki Koti, which is said to bless visitors with good luck and career progression. Next, we head towards Sakai Machi Street. This is where history comes alive. We wander through this 900 meter long charming street lined with conserved buildings from the Tasha era. It is a must visit destination for food and shopping enthusiasts. Here are some lovely buildings that have been conserved and repurposed for commercial use. Otaru is a food lover's paradise and our third stop is all about satisfying your taste buds with local street food. We indulge in one of the most delicious treats in Otaru, steamed oysters. We tried the sweet potato with bean paste. Sweet potato red bean cake. Ah. Wow, it's piping hot. Mm. The sweet potato is not sweet enough. And the unforgettable Yubari melon. Uh, you bury my leg? Oh, yeah, no, okay. This, my friends, is the Yubari melon, the famous Yubari melon from Hokkaido. One slice like this is 25 sing. Super juicy. Mmm. Very sweet. Oh, you should stay it in the. Mmm. How's it? So juicy, so sweet. Nice. This is the last time. You know. <laughs> I hope for you. <laughs> My kids are so scared that I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow. 
It's so soft, bro. It's so sweet. You have to eat it to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Is it worth the money? $25. Hokkaido edition. Wow. There's an explosion of juice coming out. The verdict is worth. Additionally, Sakai Machi Street is also a haven for dessert lovers. Famous for its milky, smooth, mouth-watering cheesecake double for much, Latal is a pastry shop with stores mainly in Hokkaido and primarily here in Otaru. Along Sakai Machi Street alone, there are six Latal stores each with a different concept and offering a large selection of limited products and delicious sweets. We visited three of them here. The first store that we visit is the Latau Chocolate Pastisserie Novel Vague Latau Chocolatier. Just down the road is the Latau main shop. This was the original Latau on which its pastry empire was built. The third Latau store that we go to is the Fromage Danish Dani Latau, which is located across the main shop and offers a new sensation in Danish pastries. So we are at Latau and we have bought their famous cheese pastry Danish. Okay, so let's give it a taste. For um, 380 yen, worth it. For the 20 minutes queue time, maybe not so worth it. But it is overall nice. Okay. Another famous brand of confectionery is Rokate, which produces a wide range of Japanese and Western style sweets. As a brand, Rokate is closely associated with Hokkaido. Sourcing the best ingredients from the prefectures, farms and dairy industry and fittingly the name Rokate literally means Six Flower Pavilion was inspired by a poetic word for snowflakes. Here is Rokate's flagship main store which sells a great range of the company's most popular confectionery including their famous sandwich cookie, yukikon cheese and cream puff. The Rokate main store also has a cafe on the second floor, serving desserts and light meals along with hot chocolate, coffee, tea and other soft drinks. This is a good spot to enjoy the dessert while overlooking the first floor. Uh, we're in Rokate uh, main store in Otaru and they have this famous cheese cookie. The chocolate cookie blends so well with the cheese. Mm, I love it. Another beloved Hokkaido sweets brand that has its base in Otaru is Kitakaru. Starting with classic Hokkaido souvenirs like the famous Hokkaido Pioneer Rice Crackers and exquisite Hokkaido Cream Puffs, there is a wide variety of limited sweets to be found here. This building has a very retro feel and is the place to go when in search of souvenirs. Next, we visited the former Kimura warehouse, which used to be a transit warehouse for hearing products. This wood frame stone building built in 1891 is one of the oldest buildings in Otaru. The inside of the building is divided in two by a central corridor 
and you can still see the trolley rails leading to the port in the corridor. The warehouse was turned into a glassware shop in 1983. Now it is part of the Kitaichi glass complex spreading into many of the other warehouses in the area too. The former Kimura warehouse is now called Kitaichi Glass Building No. 3 and it hosts an outlet shop for glass products as well as a cafe. The last attraction that we visit on Sakai Machi Street is the former Kyosei Ko. Today, it is transformed into the Otaru Music Box Museum. It is one of the most well-known historical buildings in Otaru with the iconic steam clock standing right in front of the building. At the end of the Sakai Machi Street, we walk towards the Minami Otaru Station so that we don't have to walk back towards the city centre. Along the way, we can see the majestic 532 meter high Mount Tengu. The train brings us back to Otaru Station and we head to the Otaru Sankaku Market, otherwise known as the Triangle Market. Here, we dive into a vibrant world of fresh seafood, the best of Hokkaido's delicacies. The Triangle Market opens at 6am with eateries starting to serve from 7am. The Triangle Market opens at 6am with eateries starting to serve from 7am, however, most of them close quite early by 5pm. As daylight starts to dim, our grand finale will be a culinary delight. The Wakadori Chidai Naruto. Legend has it that this dish is the originator of Otaru's signature fired half chicken. Here we savour this crispy and succulent treat, showcasing the unique flavours that define Otaru's reputation as a culinary delight. Marinated and seasoned after halving the chicken, the fried half chicken is a soulful cuisine of Otaru. Hi, we are at Naruto Fried Chicken. Naruto Ya, the house of fried chicken. Um, okay, we ordered quite a few things here. We have, they are famous for their half chicken, which is this one. And then we also had some fried chicken. Fried chicken. We have calamari and we have some tofu here. Okay, so let me just start with the chicken wing. Wow. The skin is so crispy and it's so juicy too. Wow. Mm. There you have it, fellow travelers. Otaru with this canal charm historical allure, delightful street food, bustling market, and the legendary fired half chicken offers an unforgettable experience. Okay, it's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video that we have made for you. Yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Yep. And uh, till our next video, we see you again.